Hey guys, so uh, I've gotten better from my illness that I had recently and uh, I plan on going to the cinema again. Uh, I plan on seeing the new Mario movie, which I'm very much looking forward to. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the movie itself because I think it looks really cool. Uh, but also, uh, I'm very looking forward to having the cinema experience again because it's been a long time since, well, technically, since I've been to a proper cinema. Now, I did technically go to a cinema when I went to the Talking Pictures TV live event uh, earlier this month because they did, um, you know, I was in an audience of people and, you know, we were watching, you know, people on stage being interviewed, but also, um, you know, they had a big screen behind them and showed they showed stuff on the screen and that was, ba you know, basically like a cinema. And I, I think going to that event uh, did prepare me for having the cinema experience again so yeah you, you can watch my video about uh my time there if you want to know more about that it's called like my time at the tptv live event april 2023 and I, I plan on going to the next ones in july so i'll have videos about that as well but yeah the last time i went to a proper cinema to watch a new release was before the pandemic uh it was when i went to see the rise of shitwalker <laughs> Uh, which I fucking hated, by the way. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> I, I think this Mario movie will be good. And I hope it is. I mean, I think I want to see another movie because I want it to be a good movie that I see in the cinema. Because the last movie I saw in the cinema was so bad. I mean, no disrespect to anyone who likes it, but I, I just thought Rise of Shet Walker was so bad. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think I've grown so much of. As as a person over the pandemic i mean um you know i've learned so much since then and grown as a person since then and it also be the first time going to the cinema in my 20s because i was 19 when i saw the rise of shit walker uh, and i'm 22 now so yeah and also unfortunately i won't be able to like have drinks or snacks during watching the film because you know i have these in uh yeah, I'm only supposed to take these out to eat, like, during mealtime, so I can't really have, like, popcorn or drinks during watching the movie. But, yeah, really looking forward to, you know, looking forward to the movie and also really looking forward to the cinema experience. So, yeah, I'll see you there uh, when after I've watched it and I'll have a review of it. So, yeah. So, this is my cat, who's called Mario. Mario. I'm going to see your movie soon, Mario. <laughs> Are you glad that you're in a movie, Mario? <laughs> so uh, here's some posters for the movie that are at the cinema I went to. I realised it was a bit too dark from where I was standing, so I came a bit closer, you see here, so you can see them a bit better. But yeah, I think they're very cool posters. So, yeah. And then uh, here's a picture of me with the poster. Alright, so I've seen it now, and I had a real blast with it. You know, it it's a really fun movie. I mean, I was hoping it could be, you know, just as much fun of a, of a video game movie as the recent Sonic movies, which both of those I, I had a lot of fun with as well. And yeah, it was. And yeah, I did review the first Sonic movie. I, I watched the second one on Paramount Plus, but I didn't get around to reviewing it. And maybe I probably should sometime. But yeah, uh, this movie they the Mario movie, they've gone back to the original, you know, origin story of them being uh, plumbers from Brooklyn who get sucked into, you know, the Mushroom King, you know, world, which uh, is interesting because I know that's their old origin story from, like, the 80s and 90s, but, I mean, I didn't really think they were using that origin story anymore, but um, I guess they've gone back to it now, and I think it works for this sort of... Um, narrative you know i like stuff that's where characters are put into you know such situ like situation or different worlds that they're not used to and you know mario gets sucked into the mushroom kingdom and luigi's sucked into like the dark kingdom and he gets kidnapped by bowser and you know mario you know tries to get luigi back and you know he teams up with people like um toad and uh princess peach and us you know he has to um, battle Donkey Kong at first, and then Donkey Kong, you know, joins them in helping. And yeah, it's just really fun. I mean, when they announced the cast, you know, I did enjoy the memes about it, you know, but because it is kind of an, uh, an odd cast. But I mean, I would, 
did also want to be optimistic about it. And yeah, I mean, they did fine. Um, my favourite one was Jack Black as Bowser. He was really a lot of fun. And I think he was probably the most well-received one when they announced the cast. Um, yeah, everyone else did fine. Uh, yeah, I did also think, um, yeah, Jack Black and Seth Rogen also did voices in Kung Fu Panda. And, um, yeah, and Chris Pat. Pratt and Charlie Day also both did voices in the Lego movie, so yeah, that's pretty interesting. I really liked how they incorporated like music from the games into the score, you know, I thought that was really cool, but um, I will say uh, some of the pop songs that they used didn't mash, mesh as well, I mean, you know, I love the score, but like the actual like, pop songs they used, yeah, they used like 80s songs, which I guess fits since Mario originates from the 80s, but yeah, like when they're in like the Kong Kingdom, you know, with the Donkey Kongs, and um, when they're playing like uh, Take on Me, you know, I would have preferred it if they just played Donkey Kong Country, the Donkey Kong Country theme in that scene instead, you know. But um, the score was absolutely fantastic, I thought, and I did like a ju a reference like when Donkey Kong is fighting Mario, and he says like it's on like Donkey Kong. I I did like that little line and. and Funnily enough, the bad guy in Despicable Me 3 actually says that as well, uh, and that's by Illumination, who made this movie. Uh, and uh, I did also like as well, during the Donkey Kong fight, you know, Mario gets the uh, cat power-up, which is from this game. Uh, and, you know, I like that because, as I showed, um, I have a cat named Mario as well. So, yeah, I like that. And I like that that power-up existed in the game in the first place. <laughs> And yeah, Donkey Kong does the Seth Rogen laugh twice, you know, the <laughs> Yeah, um, and I do like Bowser's song, you know, the Peaches, 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 I love you. Yeah, it's a very uh, Jack Black type song. <laughs> yeah, it's a very enjoyable song. That. And one thing as well I will say uh, is, uh, obviously, since it's Illumination, I knew it was going to start this way, but it starts with, you know, Minions saying, like, Illumination, which is how all their movies start. Um, you know, this time they had a variant with, you know, Mario Kart, which I did kind of like, but, you know, the thing is, like, this movie is quite tonally different to other Illumination films, so, you know, it was kind of, the tone is kind of different, you know, the Minion stuff is, is tonally quite different, and, I mean, I usually don't mind... I don't mind Illumination, but you know, this is a lot different from a lot of the stuff they usually do. And you know, Charles Martinet, who's the voice of Mario in the games, he does have he has two voice roles in this movie. Um and I was glad that he, he was involved in it and you know, even if he's not the voice of the characters, you know, he does most of the characters in the games and people like <clears throat> you know, didn't like the cast some people didn't like the casting because he wasn't going to be the voice, but I think you know I mean, I think part of it is to cast bigger name actors, but I think it's also because um, the sort of voices Charles does in the games would have gotten annoying for 90 minutes, and also he hasn't. You know, those voices don't have the emotional range that you would need for a character in a movie. But you know, no disrespect to him, he is a great voice actor, and I'm glad they did give him those roles in the movie. And uh, I did like the stuff with Bowser and Kamek, you know, the wizard, um, you know. Cooper, he, he, the Kamek is voiced by uh, Kevin Michael Richardson, who's a famous voice actor. You know, I like when he interrupts Bowser when he's playing the piano, and Bowser like slams the piano thing on his fingers. And I do also like when he Bowser practices proposing to Peach, and like Kamek is dressed as Peach. That was very funny. The the movie does kind of expect you to be already familiar with stuff from the games, like, you know, the floating blocks and the power-ups and stuff, but, you know, at least with this, you know, Mario is a household name. You know, if it was based on something that was, you know, a lot more obscure, that could have been a problem, but since it is um, based on, like, something that's a household name, I think most people will be familiar with um, a lot of these things that are, in, uh, that are from the games. So yeah, overall, I had an absolute blast with this movie. Would highly recommend it if you're a Mario fan. And yeah, go see it, and thanks for watching, and bye.